honestly, being an animal activist can be really hard because every year 100 billion, over 100 billion animals are killed by and for humans. That's billion with a B. So it's challenging. But on another hand, being an animal activist is kind of easy because all I have to do is remind people of what they already know and remind people of what they already feel. Because I assume everyone here, except for the sociopaths, has had that experience of like bonding with a cat or bonding with a dog and feeling that heart expanding love. And of course, as I've been doing this for a long time, I've learned many things that have sort of reinforced my animal activism. Um, the fact that animal agriculture is the second leading cause of climate change, that 75% of antibiotic resistance, the plague that awaits us all, is a result of animal agriculture, because the animals on factory farms are treated so badly and they're so sick, the only thing keeping them alive are mega doses of antibiotics. The role of animal agriculture in cancer, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer, obesity, the fact that 90% of rainforest deforestation is attributable to animal agriculture, 50% of ocean acidification comes from animal agriculture. So all these facts sort of strengthen and buttress my activism. But at the end of the day, what sustains me as an activist is love. The unconditional love I had for all the animals I grew up with, and the unconditional love I have for all animals. And I think that's the best part of who I am, that selflessness and love and patience and kindness. And I think it's the best part of who we are. You know, the part of humanity that wants to protect the innocent and defend the vulnerable, that's, that's the best of humanity, not the part that puts animals in factory farms. And the realization that every animal with two eyes and a central nervous system wants to avoid pain and suffering. And every animal, no matter how big or how small or how wild or how domesticated, just wants to be alive and simply wants to be happy.